and I think everybody does this without even recognizing it. You put your token in, you get your golf balls, you walk into the range, and you have hope, and you're excited <laughs> for, I'm gonna hit yeah. great shots. Yeah. And then as soon as it kind of goes south, we panic because it goes a away from what we intended to do, mm -hmm. and now we're in really big trouble. Hi, TJ. What's up, dude? How are you doing? I'm great. Good. We get to talk about golf, so it's, it it's makes pretty, me happy. Pretty good morning. For makes, us, me, yeah. makes me happy when I get yeah. to talk about golf. Um, okay, so this video is a little different um, in, I think, kind of a cool way, because we talked about like all this information, right? We throw a ton of information out. The important thing, though, is I have this information. I just grab my bucket of balls and I go to the range and how you go through that practice session to actually build is really important. Oh, way important, yeah. Super, super, super important. And our game, like the culture of it, sucks for improvement because it comes across as, here's a magic blue pill, take that, and you have the information now, go hit it. Right, like every magazine, it's not quite this way anymore, but it was like this like rush to success. You do this act, and you're gonna hit it 20 yards further. I mean, that's how they've at least titled it, yeah. headlined it, right? Yeah, and there's yeah. still some of that now where there's, you know, like, do this and flush your irons every time. Mm -hmm. Like, all this stuff that, like, honestly is untrue because nobody does that. Nobody does that. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> to be able to actually hit, like, a proper golf ball. Yeah, everybody misses shots. Like, everybody misses shots. And the thing is, is, like, the miss shot is one of the best opportunities, but we view it because of how we go about like coaching this as like a group of, of instructors worldwide in a very poor way. Because um, the missed shot is a great opportunity to understand the system better. Mm. But when we talk about a systems approach, we're looking at this from like a super holistic look that, you know, when somebody's hitting it well, like a PGA Tour player goes in for an interview after the round and, and um, I remember when Rory hit like 16 out of 18 greens his last round of the U.S. Open when he won the U.S. Open wire to wire. First question was like, Roy, what an unbelievable like ball striking round, right? Great ball striking round. Like, what were you thinking? And he just was like at a loss for words yeah. the whole time, uh -huh. right? It's very difficult when you're hitting it great to articulate what it is that you're feeling. You just feel the whole thing mm -hmm. from start to finish. Like, it it's awesome. becomes very intuitive because you own the system. You kind of see the shot you want to hit and you hit it it's there's not a lot to it that's exactly right and you just feel the whole thing so that's where it becomes like this like crossing the bridge from man i'm like explaining to myself what i need to do movement wise or sequence wise to all of a sudden we cross this bridge to sensory mm. where it's like all feel i kind of can see some things in my mind but it's difficult to articulate that right that's the athletics of golf okay right? Athletic simply means that we feel things from a sensory standpoint, sure. right? Okay, so how do we build this? Yeah. Okay, there, there's gonna be three really important levels to this. Okay. Um, uh, and you can work through those levels as you need as a player. Okay, so we'll just start very simply at level one. You are making golf swings that just give you the, you're, you're commanding to yourself, like this is the move that I'm going to make come hell or high water. There is, you do not respond at all to the golf ball. Okay. And this is super important because you, you might make a golf swing, okay? And even if you're trying to make this act happen, let's say it's like, I wanna shallow the golf club, center mass is behind me and hit it. Okay, great. I'm gonna attempt to do that and I hit the ball and I hit it really well. What I'm going to respond to then is, oh, the drug of, I hit a great shot, give me that again. And so you're not really focused on the act of making the movement. Right. You're focused on, from an unconscious level and conscious level, on let me hit that, let me get that feeling again. Exactly, yeah. And the same thing is true on the other end of the spectrum of, okay, I'm gonna shallow it. Let's say you just lay the fricking sod on it and hit it four inches fat. Most people are like, oh, that's stunk. Let me try again. Mm -hmm. So they're actually responding sure. to the outcome of the shot rather than responding the move. to the movement. Exactly. Right. So 
And I know for me, dude, like I have this old way of thinking, like it's old myelin in our brain that just is a pathway of if I hold a stick and there's a rock down there, my, my brain goes, oh, golf swing. I know what to do. Mm -hmm. And it's, it never goes away. But my first like five to 10 shots of the day are maybe my most important of the day, like for a practice session or getting ready to go play. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't reteach myself what I need to do in my golf swing, the yeah. important things for me, man, I'm gonna have a difficult time. That's been, that's been huge um, for me as well. I think the way that you describe it is every single day you recreate the map of the golf swing that you wanna make. Yep. It's not like you have it and then it's just there. Yep. Like you've trained it one day to get the center of mass working down or whatever. Yep. Every single day, that piece that's important for you, you have to train and remap, right? That's exactly right. And quite frankly, I just, I just stole that bit of information from Nicholas. I mean, he, oh. was, he was asked uh, why he, because this was back in like the 80s, 90s, in an interview, he was asked why he was the greatest of all time in his own opinion. And he goes, I just taught myself like I was a beginner every day of my life. Hmm. Jack, this is how you hold it. Mm. Jack, this is how the arms I've work. never heard that before. That's quite yeah. a quite a bit of information from probably the best, one of the best to ever yeah. do it at least. Right? And I guarantee it's not like 50 different things. He probably had no. two or three different items that were really important mm -hmm. to Nicholas that were like, if I stay on top of these things, sure. I'm just gonna constantly like maintain at that level my golf swing and never mm -hmm. lose it. Sure. Okay, so I mean, let, let's go through this a little bit and we'll give some examples of how yeah. to do this. Let's um, do that. In our junior academy, we, we, we talk about our five different progressions in golf swing. Okay. We're not going to go through all those progressions right here because it's a deep dive. But let's, um, let's just take a couple, and I think the best way to do this is you've gone through the progressions a ton, right? Mm -hmm. What are the like one, two, or three that are the most important to you? Like me personally and my you golf swing? You personally, yes. Okay. Well impact is is always really important um that's for me and that's for a lot of students as well we can get very very wrapped up in you know positioning mm -hmm. at the top of the backswing that we lose what it's really supposed to feel like um at the bottom okay and We're, let's go even more specifically for you like impact can mean lots of different things sure pelvic drop mm. ribs da -da -da. like what okay. are you like you're getting ready to hit your first shot of the day sure like literally first shot of the day yep. What are the few things in impact that you're looking to do? Okay, so so me personally. Yes, um, again, for you personally. My tendency when I get a little bit off mm -hmm. is I'll start sliding these hips laterally. Okay. And I won't rotate the chest much okay. into impact. So I'll start getting this face flash in that way. Yep. So if I'm going to remind myself first few shots of the day, number one, I'm going to get these hips back. Okay. Okay, so weight's going to feel like it moves into my heels. Okay. I'm going to exaggerate opening the chest. Okay. Um, we've talked about this before. You call it two cheek impact. Basically, <laughs> yep. just getting everything pointing this way Booty at the to strike. The camera, baby. Yes. <laughs> and then, and then finally, last thing. I can do those two things, but I feel relatively like level to the ground here. Uh -huh. And the way that I fix that is I try to get this lead arm and shaft actually high, okay. and that might actually be a personal thing for me. There you go. So, but it's personal again, right? Right. And I think for you, what that does, like, go ahead and set up to a golf ball. Sure. Um, and then preset that impact. Beautiful. Now, when you go back a ways. Okay, and then work back into that same look. There you go. This lead arm high actually helps TJ shallow the golf club a bit. Again, we don't need to go into like major detail on that action and what it does to the club and blah, sure. blah, blah. But the point here, the reason for talking about this, and I keep saying for you, is what we want like mastery of your golf swing is understanding your golf swing to the point where, okay, I'm gonna make this act happen because when I do this movement, Yes it allows me to, to, to really work in through the rest of the movements that I want to have mm -hmm. so that I get into the sensory and I feel freaking great. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. which is the next level, but right now, it's just you showing a couple of like reps on what this looks like. Oh, so sure. this is your very first rep of the day. Let's go ahead and show kind of a mock out of this impact. Okay. Good. Now, how'd you hit that? Fat. I was hoping you'd say, I don't even know. 
Fair enough. I mean, yeah, of course you're gonna know yeah. that you hit it fat. Yeah. But the point is, is like, what is the purpose of that exercise? Uh, to, to feel the move. In, that in, you just explained, yeah, right? Yeah, to feel that move. Now, yeah. before you even hit this one, did you move in the way that you wanted to? Not exactly. Okay, so let's improve upon okay. it. Okay. Okay, and what was the fix? Like you go, not exactly. What did you feel in the previous movement? Sure. Um, well, in the first move, this is where like contact can help clue you in to what you did. Mm -hmm. That's how, at least how sure. I see it. Um, so I hit it fat and I know the system and how I swing it very well. Mm -hmm. When I hit it fat, it's because I'm hanging back here on my trail foot. Okay. Um, so I could be rotating my uh -huh. chest, but if my pressure is moving back here, that's yep. no good for me. Yep. So I need to feel how we describe it more ribs way okay. to get up here. So the center of mass of your ribs is shifting target side. Shifting target side. And that's yep. what, like you said, it clued you in because you hit it heavy. Mm -hmm. So the further forward your center of mass of the ribs can get, now you're controlling the bottom yeah. out to a point. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, not to get like too deep into it, but the point of this first phase is literally only movement and the sequence of that movement. Okay. That's really important. When I'm saying movement, it can be how I'm motoring or moving the instrument in space. It could be an understanding of where the face is, like do I want it more shut, do I want it more open, okay. how am I moving my body, blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't need to be this huge, like I'm going to do 80 things today. No. <laughs> it can doesn't be to like, at all. today I'm going to make sure, like I'm having a difficult time, like the golf club wants to pitch over the plane and I need it to go under. Now mm -hmm. there's six ways to Sunday to make that happen. Sure. And you can, you can plug in whatever the heck you want to help you with, did I actually make that movement or not? Absolutely. Boom. And I hit it or not. Like you might whiff it. Mm. Okay. For people that like really, really struggle with this, that they just can't get off the golf ball, just bring a bag of cotton balls and throw a cotton ball down. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like you hit it and you have no idea if you towed it. No, no idea. If you hit it salt, you have yeah. no clue. There's no reaction there. Mm -hmm. But you can just go, okay, did I move in the way that I wanted? And then slowly start introducing a golf ball. Another good way to go through phase one. Definitely. Okay, yeah. so let's work our way through. Let's say that you had two different exercises. The first one you just talked about is, a, is, a, is an impact exercise. Mm -hmm. The second one, let's say it's a backswing exercise. So you're sure. just aware of where the instrument's moving in the backswing. And Got then it. now you can go through impact again. Yeah. Okay, the next phase, we talk about solid golf balls being earned. They're earned because I'm moving well, I'm in sequence well, I'm flowing well, like I feel kind of good. So you'll naturally transition from movement to, ooh, now I'm starting to hit good shots kind of on a regular basis and you feel nice, mm -hmm. okay? So let's see just a couple of golf swings where you're just kind of feeling, feeling like kind of the flow of your golf swing, but okay. you still have awareness of movement. Sure. These are usually performed at like 60, 70, or 80% of full cap. Good. So phase two is extremely, extremely short-lived. It's like three balls that are like flushed out, two or three balls that are flushed out in a row. Okay. Okay, and you've got to stop. Why do you got to stop? <laughs> okay, so let, let's, let's make the analogy of like seasoning your steak. Okay. Okay, so if I got a steak and I'm freaking got it on the grill and I'm throwing some seasoning on it, whatever. The, point, the purpose of seasoning is to do what? Make it taste right. Okay, yeah, it makes it taste a little bit better. Yeah. So rather than just throwing your steak on, right, which would be, okay, I just threw my balls out and I roll my first one in and just make a golf swing because I'm warming up and just hitting it. Okay, well, that's just a bland steak for most folks. Like, you're not really progressing there. Okay, so once we've seasoned, which is movement and the sequence of that movement, I've seasoned it so, whoa, I feel really good. My steak tastes great. Stop seasoning it because mm. you can't over season. If you over season, that means that now I'm hitting these shots and I feel great. Very naturally, I'm going to start like adding new things in to just mess with it mm -hmm. because that's my version of like how, how to like continue to progress my golf swing. Yeah. Problem. Now you're going to fall off the cliff on the other side. Uh -huh. You know, start hitting it cruddy and then you're pissed and ticked and you leave your practice session like yeah. not fulfilled. So many people are in like constant search of improvement, right? Yep. Which is important, but they mm -hmm. need to understand how to direct it. 
Exactly. And the, mo many people just don't know how to direct it. They, they think golf swing equates to golf score. Yes. And if I just keep digging with a golf swing, finding a new thing yes. here, 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 here. And even on that note, they're not wrong. Sure. But they're not right because it's perception. Mm -hmm. So like Doug Wary says this all the time, especially to the junior academies, like <laughs> he'll go up to a kid and go, look, if you want to shoot good scores, good short scores come from good swings and good swings come from, or excuse me, good scores come from good shots. Mm -hmm. Good shots come from good swings. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, what we really need to do is just focus on making good golf swings over and over again. The more good golf swings I'm, I make, the more good shots sure. I make, blah, 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 yeah. right? So, but the, the point again here is if I keep seasoning this to mm -hmm. the point where now I get out of the system just because I'm trying stuff, because kind of you get bored just hitting it freaking really good. That's the thing. Yeah, that's the bored. thing. Yeah. Okay. So what we've done now is we're earning, like we're crossing the bridge in that our definition of a good golf swing is? Control of the golf ball. Control of the golf ball. So this is where now we get to be like kind of creative with things. So we've gone through phase one to like earn good golf swings, good movement, good sequence. Ooh, that earned me good shots. Red light like siren goes off. We need to command the golf ball now. Totally. Okay, so, and playing good golf is the ability to, I'm into the fan, right? 30 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour breeze. And I've got 140 and I need to hit like a little knockdown seven iron. So I've got to command the golf ball. I can't just hit stock shot right now. So let's play with this. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to call out shots. Sure. And through the system, you're just going to, you're going to hit these shots. Okay. So we got seven iron right now. Yeah. Okay. Show me a 160 yard seven iron. Beautiful. Now, did you execute? I think so. Okay. And you'll notice like how far do you usually hit seven iron? And we're in Colorado, so it's going to go a little further here. Probably about 190. Okay. So TJ just took 30 yards off but use the same system. Hmm. That is actually like, and those of you that are, that are high level players, you, you'll know and appreciate how difficult it is what TJ just did. Hmm. That is hard. Speed is a cheat. Because as soon as you swing it with speed, the golf club releases, it does all the stuff, and blah, 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 blah. Feels great, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. That's not how we play golf. No. It's, it's not. Okay, so now you said like stocky, like you're on the golf course, 190. 190, yeah. Okay. This is a fun one too. Let's see how far can you hit this ball? So we're talking like in your mind, you're gonna hit it 230 yards. Okay. However, yeah. you can't get out of the system. Right, so. You're gonna hit it as far as you can while still ma maintaining the same system of movement. Okay. Not doing anything crazy, it's just full wave. Boom, big energy. Now, did you stay in the system or not? You'll think, know as the athlete. I think I stayed in the system. It's freaking yeah. fantastic. Okay, next one. Let's hit it 175, one, starts one degree right. I don't care about curvature at all. It just starts one degree right of your alignment target. Okay. Did you do it or not? I did. Okay. So what's cool, like right now, you'll notice how there's two things really happening with TJ that are vital. Because when, when you play, you want to be able to feel like the shot, like as you're over it, mm -hmm. and obviously like in the reps prior to walking into standing over it and looking at your target, and you can feel the shot above. So you're sensing that. So there's athletics in it, but you're doing that, you're earning that because of great movement. Yeah. So we're crossing this bridge of like good golf swing equates to good golf ball. It's holistic, it's the whole darn thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what will happen to everybody is you'll hit balls, hit balls, hit balls, move to the next club, whatever, and then you'll kind of lose it. Yes, happens that, a lot. That people, does don't know, people don't know what to do after that. Exactly, really. and then they stay at level two because they've never even experienced level three. They don't even know like, oh, I can hit it right, I can hit it low. They, they don't do that on the range mm -hmm. for, for the most part. And so they just like roll in a ball and try this new thing like, well, if I feel more of this, and it kind of becomes guessy. Very guessy. Yeah. Now you're lost in space. And this is where frustration comes because your diagnosis was wrong in the first place. Mm -hmm. You tried it thinking it was going to help. And oftentimes it makes it worse. Uh -huh. Shit. 
new ball. Let me try again, right? There's also a lot of like false positives. Uh -huh. So you'll try something, you'll guess, you'll flush it, and then all of a sudden you're really screwed. That's an even bigger <laughs> point. Yeah. Oh, it's just, golf is just filled with traps. There's a lot of traps, yeah. You Loads just gotta stay on the stuff that you know mm -hmm. works. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And so anytime you lose it, it's totally fine to go back to like, if you're really aware of things, you can feel how, oh, impact feels grody. So mm -hmm. what could you do? Come back to impact, do that, do that progression. You right? do that progression until, oh, got the awareness again. And it might only take one ball. You might just go, oh, there it yep. is. So show this. So right. let's see uh, the, the first, um, your impact progression. Okay, did you feel it? Yep. Okay, now make a golf swing. Now we're back up to level two. Okay. Make a golf swing where you're just feeling it through your golf swing, through that impact progression. This is done at, again, like 60% cap. Did you feel it? Yep. Okay, great. Now, let's hit a shot with that. Okay. Okay, so show me a 182 yard seven iron while still maintaining that same system of movement. Did you do it? I did. Beautiful. And um, I mean, TJ is, it's kind of nice for me because TJ is like right in the middle of the system that selfishly I prefer to see out of an athlete, like how sure. he moves, but he's, he's really earned that. So you see him, I mean, we didn't miss a ball right here. You just flushed out like every single shot was great. For, with one exception, your first rep mm -hmm. of the day, which again, we don't give a crud if you no. whiffed it, yeah. but you're like, oh, I, I did the movement that I, that I set out to, to do. It's, uh -huh. the, it's the sense of that. Was I there? It's that. Yeah, I think, um, I think people are very hesitant to even go through that one first rep where they didn't hit it right, yep. where they didn't flush it. They yep. get a, addicted to that sensation, Yes. and they go, I don't really care about the movement. I just want to get right there yeah. quick, quick. And I think everybody does this without even recognizing it. You put your token in, you get your golf balls, you're walking to the range and you have hope and you're excited <laughs> for, I'm gonna hit yeah. great shots. Yeah. And then as soon as it kind of goes south, we panic because it goes a away from what we intended to do. Mm -hmm. And now we're in really big trouble. Right. So it's, it, it's just really, really important to understand how to practice. And so you can almost view this as like a bell curve and that we're like, working up to the point where we're mm -hmm. earning great movement, which now I start to hit good shots, like they should go hand in hand. Sure. And then we kind of flush back off of that, where now we're, we're, we're experiencing this holistic view of, I'm commanding the ball through my movement. And again, meaning command the ball, like I can start it a little bit left, I can start a little bit right. Um, and it's through the system. I'm not saying that we start it way right, barrel roll it back in, and like it's out of the system of movement. Mm -hmm. We're using the things that you started the practice session with, an understanding of movement and sequencing of those, mo those moves to then command the golf ball. Mm -hmm. Can I hit it 162? Can I start at one degree left, a little slighted? Can I hit it full gas and mm -hmm. still stay in the system? You're just experiment experimenting with the system, yep. but you start to learn golf shots that way. Mm -hmm. You practice that way, Every day you're moving towards mastery, you're, and mastery is an understanding of your system. 100%. Okay. That's a good one. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of questions on this one, too. Okay. Uh, I think there should be a lot of questions, and these are going to be questions that are going to be really fun to answer, I think, from our end sure. and our perspective, because the reason that we make these dang videos in the first place is we want anybody that watches them to get better at this game that we love. Mm -hmm. And so ask questions on, hey, when I'm exper experimenting with this in practice, I am feeling X, Y, and Z. We, we'd love to talk you through exactly what you're, you're experiencing when you go out and practice this stuff. So work through it as a great, I think a great session right there, great film session for us. Like this is how to practice on the stuff that we preach to, to actually cross the bridge to, wow, I'm experiencing great golf shots. Absolutely. And earning great golf shots. Yay? Yay. Love it. Flush them. <laughs>